tiebreaker. But uh, even if they go in and lose to Kansas City or uh, somebody else in the AFC down the stretch, it will not help the Packers. Their big help has to come next week against Chicago. Jerry Azuma with a good return for the Bears, trying to put a move on into Green Bay territory no. and never goes out of bounds. And Jerry Azuma will go all the way and score on an 88-yard kickoff return. Erwin Sweeney and the Packers seem to have Azuma dead to rights, but no, and Azuma goes all the way for the touchdown for the Bears. A little bittersweet moment for Chicago in the latter stages. Jerry Azuma's just got to realize that it's uh, 34 to 20 at that point and just get back to the bench. And welcome the audience that saw the Washington Redskins beat the New York Giants 20 to 7. Jerry Azuma just went 88 yards with a kickoff return for a touchdown. But uh, the story here, as you can see in the top of the screen, the Packers leading the Bears by a score of 34 to 20. Paul Edinger for the extra point. Bears led 14 to nothing. And then the uh, Packers with 34 unanswered points before that return by Azuma. And he just does a great job down the sideline. He's going to break the initial wave right there. And now he's in the wide open. Watch the move here on the kicker, Ryan Longwell. Freezes him. But watch the work down the sideline. I mean, Erwin Sweeney and, and, and Curtis Fuller right there have a very easy play to get him out of bounds. I mean, he has very little room to work with it. They can't get him out. Now, remember, Jerry Azuma, he's playing cornerback. But he was a great college running back in the day so that's that's not uh, a different thing for him to be putting that ball under his arm and returning kicks and yeah, that is the second uh, 